Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Diver by Nico Touches the Walls. It's a fairly easy song. It's not that bad. Um, I'm going to speak to make sure I, I explain everything in detail and explain everything at a good pace, make sure I'm not dragging everything. So let's get started. The intro to the song is fairly easy. It goes like this. <laughs> What I did there is basically alternate pick between the open E and the D. On, well, the D note on the third fret and second string. So, and then occasionally adding the A and F sharp, and then uh, the second time there'll be uh, like an like a half hammer on uh, from F sharp, G, F sharp to D and A. So, so basically, is. I don't do that hammer on thing, that little a second time. You just do it like once and that's it. That's pretty much the intro. It's pretty easy so far. So now we'll get to the verse. So now I'm gonna do the verse and pre chorus section. It's fairly easy. I'm gonna play the whole section first just to show you what's really going on. And then I'm gonna break it down and explain what's really happening. So uh, you can skip ahead if you want. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, uh, you guys have to bear in mind that this is what I hear, so it might not be 100% accurate with, the, with uh, like the actual artists are playing on the guitar, but this is you know the closest I can get to it. So basically, this section starts with two bar chords and then an open chord. The two bar chords is B minor bar chord, A major bar chord, and a G open chord that alternates with the G and the F sharp back to G with the rhythm. So it's kind of, this kind of has like a, it has a palm mute and then a one hit open string attack. So it's like. <laughs> saw that. So it's basically fairly simple. What's challenging is this part, uh, you know. You guys might have a little trouble alternating with the G and the F sharp, so but I'm confident you guys can get it. So you're gonna do that twice, and then you're gonna go to the next section in the verse, which is an open, open D chord with an open E instead of an F sharp, like a regular D chord. It's basically gonna have that that more open feeling. So it's. passing chord so and then the open chord G again again this, next time you're going to use an actual F sharp minor chord so and then the G, the G open chord again and then you're going to have this little lick line whatever you call it it's like It slowly it's hammer off no pull off my bad and then we'll get now after this is the start of the pre-chorus so uh 
Here's a cut. Okay, the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus has more like a, a like a guitar lead feeling instead of a rhythmic playing. So, uh, so basically, it starts with uh, a high A and D, and then it'll go up to a, a, a higher D and G. So it's they're both played together. So you could just bar it with like a finger and just slide it up like that. So it's like this. And then right here you have the C sharp and the E. You saw that? So basically I keep the C sharp the uh, the C sharp in place, but I just move I play I move I play different notes with uh with my index finger and my ring finger. So uh, the E in the bottom, then you have the G, F sharp, and then after this, I have this, uh, it's like, if you, if you look closely, I'm basically like keeping the same, uh, I'm keeping one finger in place, I'm just moving the, the, I'm just uh, switching the notes underneath it, so it's, uh, it, this is D, A, D, G, D, F sharp. So, so that's pretty not bad. And then you're literally doing the same thing. Instead, you're keeping you're on the tenth fret on the second string, and you're key, and you're staying in place with the A up top, and you're just moving the sh just switching. Uh, notes in the bottom so so like I said you're keeping the A in place and you're just uh, playing different notes in the bottom this is uh, D uh, C sharp E okay so now after that do we have uh, these chords? So after after he does this, he has like a kind of a slide to the next section. You don't have to do it, but yes, it, it sounds more fancy that way and cool. So he starts like are like picking the notes, picking the chords, like note by note. So this is like an F sharp minor inversion. So it's. Uh, G with like an A in the bottom, uh, A uh, A chord, and the B minor chord. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll break down the A chord. What type of A chord I'm playing? It's like a like a Hendrix type of chord, you know. So. And you have this little line that goes like this. I'll play it slowly again. And then you have this little D thing where, like, uh, the pinky finger uh, switches notes with the F. So basically, it's like the F sharp and the E. Let me let me just play it. <laughs> You're just switching, you know, one note for another. So, and then after that, we have these octaves that go up. It's a, it's a C sharp, C sharp octave, D octave, E octave, and then you're gonna do F sharp. No, you're gonna do F sharp and C sharp, and it's gonna be like this. Now we get to the chorus now. So the next part is the chorus. The chorus is pretty easy. Um, it's just b power chords, literally. It's minor power chord, A power chord, G power chord. So it's
So that was like a kind of like a like a play and then slide after. So that was E to F sharp, then F sharp back to E, E to D, then D to B octaves, and octaves, they're all octaves. So, and then, you know, the rest is, you know, you basically finish the whole section and with power chords, and then after you get back to the intro, and you play the same thing that you did in the first intro, you know? <laughs> I'm guessing you get the point. So then after that, we'll get to the, now we'll get to the second verse and see what they play differently. Okay, now the second verse is going to have uh, a little bit of different things going on. Um, it's gonna have, you're going to have a palm mute feel with, with some open string attacking. So you're going to start with D and F sharp. Both going to be played together palm muted. Like that. And then you're going to have the C sharp and E. And then you're going to have a D again, but instead of the F sharp, we're gonna have a G. So it's gonna go like this. We're gonna play it twice. Now the next thing you're gonna play twice is basically the same thing, except that you're gonna keep the D in place. You're not gonna move it, and you're gonna move. The notes on the second string, the bottom of the D, uh, it's gonna change. So it's gonna be like, and you're gonna have more open, uh, open more open, hard open string attacks, you know, <laughs> uh, while palm muting at the same time. So it's gonna be. If you notice, it's kind of similar to the one we played before, except that it starts earlier and it's a little longer. And you gotta, you know, get get it right, you know. Um, so it starts with an A, an A, which is a slide to a B. So it's, and it's gonna have that little, you know, blues kind of feel to it. But uh, so it's. D while keeping the D B there, my bad. So it's So now we're gonna go to the second pre chorus. Yeah. Okay, now the second pre chorus is uh, it's gonna have open chords and it's gonna have triad chords. Not sure about bar chords, we'll see. So it, it starts with an open D chord. <laughs> G chord, open A chord, and then you're going to have an E diminished 7 with the G and F sharp kind of alternating a little bit, uh, I guess that's how you say it, so, saw that, so, just keeping the same chord position, just you're switching those bottom notes, so, it's, again, I'll play it again, so, it's D, da -da. the same thing from before which is like you know picking each note in the chord a page eight and kind of uh, with the f sharp minor inversion g a b minor you know and then instead of doing the you're not gonna do that again you're gonna just do open g and d Octaves of C sharp, D, and E. And you're gonna do the F sharp and, uh, and uh, C sharp again. So after that, it's gonna be the solo. So I just I'll just play this section again, just so that you get the idea.
guitar solo. So just a quick tip, you're gonna have to add more gain, more drive distortion, whatever, to have that good raw power solo effect that he uses in the song. You know? So uh, let's get to it. So I'm gonna play the solo once through, and then I'm gonna break down what notes are being played and what techniques are being used. So uh, here we go. Okay, uh, sorry about the weird angle my iPad died, so it sucks, but oh well. We'll continue on with my phone. So basically, it starts with a G and an A. So it's, it's like a slide. You know? Play and hammer on. Pick hammer on. From a D to an E, B, E. And then you're gonna have a a uh, down bend, half step down bend from a C sharp to a, a D on the 6th fret 3rd string and you're gonna have a slide from E to F sharp then you're gonna have you're gonna play the A then you're gonna slide from the F sharp to the E then the D then A, B That's pretty, it, uh, that's some of it so far, so I'm gonna play it again so that you could uh, see what I did. So this is a slide from the E to an F sharp. Then a hammer on, pick hammer on from an A, B, D. It's a bend from uh, the ninth fret all the way to the F sharp right here. Uh, apologize, I have something in my eye right now that's really bothering me. But anyways, it's uh, now you're gonna have the B and D, and then the G and A from before. So. It's, So, this is a B, whoop, my bad, this is a B, and a G, and a D, so it's, then you're gonna have a bend from high A to high B on the, what is this fret, this fret is the 17th fret, so, You're gonna tap on this note on the on the D right here, and then you're gonna pick it. So that like, so then after that you're gonna have like a couple octaves you're gonna play, and it's not that bad. It's gonna you know switch a little bit, and then you're gonna have to have uh, some rhythm to it if you hear it in the song. The song, so it's gonna be a, a D octave, E, C sharp. And then A. And then you're gonna have E, F sharp, back to C sharp again. But instead of going to A again, you're gonna go to C sharp, which is basically like an octave higher. You know? I'll play it again with the rhythm. So here it is. Now you're gonna have this like a uh, the notes from like the intro, which is like the open E and D, and then you're gonna bend the A on the fifth string to, all the way to the note to the B note on the seventh fret. So it's gonna be like, and then for this section when you're going up about to finish the solo, you're gonna do you're gonna play uh, E on the second string, E open string. 
and then you're gonna play F sharp on the second string while keeping the E string, uh, open E string playing. So it's like, so it's like E on the E on the second string, F sharp on the second string again, and then G A, and then you're gonna end with like this kind of fast, you know, kind of, uh, kind of. What do you gotta be called? Like a fast lick. So, you know. so it's uh. Da -da -da -da. You're gonna play it six times, I think, which is like two. Oh my bad. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's eight. My fault. Okay, so. You get the point. So it's. Okay, so basically, after the guitar solo is played and is done, um, you're gonna go back to the chorus one last time, and from there on, you're gonna finish the song. The song just ends after that. So, it, the, the the chorus is pretty much the same thing from before. Power chords, from, you know, from the B, A, G, back to the A, back to the B, A. a. G and then the octaves thing I I, I um, explain you know and then again for a couple times you know I'm not sure I don't remember uh, how many times and then you know you could tell by the way he's singing you know when you're close to the ending and the ending ends like so basically that was just regular E minor minor and then D over F sharp and then open chord G So from there on, that's pretty much it. That's how the song goes. Um, Star took me a bit of time to make this, you know, tutorial kind of speaking thing. This is actually the first time I'm actually kind of speaking, you know, for a bit and actually explaining the song in full detail. This might be a long video. I didn't play this. I didn't actually use the actual soundtrack because it'll get copyrighted and all that. You know, all those you know music issues with YouTube. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please uh, subscribe, share it. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. Uh, check out my other videos if you want. I don't like forcing people. So uh, thanks for watching this video. And uh, there will be another tutorial for another song coming. So be tuned for that.